Hello, this is Mark Tedonio from LearningExchange.ptc.com, and this tutorial is using the Import Data Doctor to fill gaps and remove and create surfaces. Import Data Doctor is a task-based repair tool designed to repair, modify, or featureize imported geometry. The first step is to create a new part, so I'm going to click on File, New, Part is already selected, and I'm just going to press OK. Now I'll import my data, so I'm going to click on the Get Data pull down and select Import. And I'm going to select this data set and press Open. Now I'm going to click OK on the File dialog box. And now I'm going to click on the Import Data Doctor button. Notice right now that there's an extra surface not included in Component 247. I want to determine if this surface is necessary or if it's just extra information that's unnecessary. So first I'm going to right click on surface 236 and click hide. Now I'm going to click on component 247 and we notice that there is a surface underneath where surface 236 was located so we can determine that that surface is unnecessary so I'm just going to right click on surface 236 and select delete. Next I'm going to find, define, and repair gaps. First I'm going to click on the tools tab and select find. Now the search tool dialog box is going to open and I'm going to click on the look for pull down and select gaps. Now I'm going to change the value to 1 and press find now. Notice that it found 5 gaps in my imported geometry. I'm going to highlight the top 4 and click this to select them and now press close. Now I'm going to click on the import data doctor tab and I'm going to click on the display wireframe button and click add wireframe. This added a wireframe to bridge the gaps. Now I'm going to click on the repair tool and I'm going to check off repair tangency and click the check mark to fix the gaps. Now I will define and close this last gap manually. To do this I will first click on the gaps and slivers button and select define gap. Now I'm going to select the first side then click on side 2 and then select the second side. Now I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to highlight the gap and select close and press the check mark. And notice just like before the gap was closed. Now I'm going to change the display type to shading with edges and the last thing that stands out is that there's a surface that's missing right here. So to add a surface, I'm going to click on Boundary Blend, and I'm going to select these two curves for my first side, and now I'm going to click here to add the other side, and I'm going to select these two curves. I'm going to click on the glasses to preview it, and that looks good, so I'm going to click the check mark. Now the last step is to combine my new surface with my component, so I'm just going to highlight both of them and click Combine. And now that my feature is fixed, I'm going to click OK to finish Import Data Doctor. And now that my gaps were fixed and my additional or missing surfaces were added or deleted, I can now import it as a solid feature. And I'm going to click the check mark. And notice by the gray shade that it is a solid feature. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This was Mark Tedonio from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more content at PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com.